It's some bad news for boaters. Evidence of the invasive zebra mussel has been found again in Texas, this time in Canyon Lake. That's just 40 miles southwest of Austin. And now the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department is worried about the damage the small aquatic hitchhiker could do if they make their way into the Highland Lakes. As KXAN's Alicia N. shows us, it's up to boaters to make sure that does not happen. John Adams knows having a boat isn't always fun and games. But it's a lot of work, man. I, I just paid like $300 to get this whole thing working. He's trying to save himself even more work, keeping an eye out for zebra mussels. I just know that they're not good, really. At all the boat ramps, usually you'll see signs like telling you you got to drain everything and like every boat ramp I see in Texas. The biggest problem comes with transportation. Even if a few zebra mussels attach to a boat and then that boat goes into a different lake, they can reproduce rapidly. In fact, one adult female zebra mussel can produce up to one million larvae each year and their damage is disastrous. Zebra mussels can clog boat motors, deplete food and oxygen in the water, and cost millions to contain. From the battery under here, water can splash into it. And if you're like John. I go to several different lakes myself. That's okay, says Parks and Wildlife, but when you pack up after a day on the water, you must clean, drain, and dry your boat, because right now, officials say the only way to prevent the spread is by spreading the word. Why would you want to mess it up? You know, we got such a great lake. Why would you want to, you know, it just takes like 30 minutes at the most. Alicia Inns, KXAN News. Since zebra mussels were first found in Texas in 2009, 10 lakes and four river basins are now classified as infested. First time offenders can be fined up to $500 for transporting zebra mussels, whether you know about them or not. And so far, the only two lakes raising eyebrows locally are Lake Buchanan and Lake Georgetown. We want to stress no zebra mussels have been confirmed at either spot as of yet. But within the last year, Texas Parks and Wildlife says tests show DNA samples of an unconfirmed type of organism have been found. Maybe.